Hi guys, so today I'm back with another video, obviously. I don't know. I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but today I'm gonna be talking about um my five favorite blogs. Um or like <laughs> or at least like the five blogs that I regularly visit and I kinda wanna not spread the word about them, but I kinda wanna talk about why I like them and then why why I regularly I can't say regular regularly visit them. Um so the first one is Nouveau Cheap and I have to say she's probably my favorite um beauty blogger um at least that I've I used to follow a ton of like beauty fashion blogs like and stuff like that but she's one of my favorites um and I think she's the reason why I stopped watching like beauty makeup YouTubes because um, I don't know <laughs> she encompasses everything that I wanted from a beauty YouTube guru because like I just wanted to know about I didn't want to know really about like what was new and high-end stuff because like I'm not going to afford that or nor do I want to buy that like just a limited edition collection I'm more into like the drugstore kind of area and then uh, yeah so that's basically what she posts about it's like drugstore like like what's new in the drugstore um like reviews on new items and especially um drugstore sales she has like a weekly post of like what's on sale in Walgreens, CVS, Dwayne Reed and etc and it's just awesome every week she has it and it's like the best because you know like you can like sometimes if I need something I look at her weekly sales kind of list to see if it's on sale in a certain place if I could do it for cheaper and it's just the best it's awesome she's awesome um too even though I said Nouveau Cheap's my favorite one this isn't in any kind of order it's just like the order that it is on my bookmarks bar <laughs> so I just happen to have Nouveau Cheap on as the first bookmark on my bar but also she's my favorite so just that just happened but there's no like ranking here so number two uh the second blog that i visit regularly is um the beauty department which is kind of like it's not lauren conrad solely but she's a part of the team that creates content for that blog and it's again it's beauty and makeup related and um they do a lot of hair tutorials and kind of like tutorials on how to wear certain eye colors and stuff like that like what's in and stuff like that in season and it's really awesome um a lot of the products they do use are more high end and stuff like that but um you, you know you can use your own it's not like they're telling you you have to use it it's just like certain products that the the specific product that they use is high end but you can like use whatever drugstore brand or low end brand that you have which is what I end up doing I actually learned how to do my eyebrows the way that I want them to what I like do them the way that I want them to look through like one of the tutorial tutorial I can't talk today I'm like I don't even know the word I'm just messing up all my words um but because of the tutorials one of their eyebrow tutorials, I learned how to kind of do my eyebrows the way that I want them to look. So yeah, set number the second blog that I visit regularly and I, that I love is the beauty department. And then the third one that I visit is Michelle Fawn's blog. So you probably know of her um, for her you know YouTube videos. Um, she was actually like the first. She's who got me into makeup and stuff like that. Like I. Like the very first like eyeshadow tutorial that I ever tried out was one of her like really 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 like her first like eyeshadow like makeup tutorial <laughs> so it was like the first for both of us um and she she's the one who got me into all this makeup things um I n don't really watch her videos anymore like I said I don't really watch makeup youtubers anymore but I do follow her blog. She posts more than just makeup. She posts like lifestyle kind of things. And like she posts a lot of things about apps. And which is really cool because I always li I like. I like finding out about apps that could 
possibly work for me and I, 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 I like that so she has a lot of cool posts on there too along with like makeup fashion and stuff like that it's like all into one um, the fourth blog that I visit is I don't know if you would call it a blog because it's a magazine it used to be a magazine and that was like their website but now they don't have the magazine like physical magazine per portion and they just have like entries so I guess you could call it a blog a web webzine I don't know it's I, I call it I guess I'll call it a blog um their um their name is Verily um I actually met the co-founder of Verily when I was in undergrad um she came to do like a question and answer session um and it was awesome. She, I, was, I sat right next to her and I was like, I love your website. Like, and no, I don't, I don't know if anyone else in the room knew about like Verily because I've been following Verily for a long time. And when I found out that they were coming to my, like my undergraduate school for like a question and answer session, I was like, oh my gosh, it was like awesome. And she's so, Janet, her name is Janet is she's so nice and she and she was like i want to give you a hug because um like i was like i love getting like my my weekly dose of verily in my in my email because i love and i love visiting your website you have such awesome posts and they do um it's they do have they have like makeup beauty but they also have like lifestyle advice too and like relationship advice and just like all these kind of cool things and just i really like reading their articles just because they kind of believe in the same things that I do and like um but they also love makeup and fashion and it's just like it's very me and I really like that and um they're very real um they they wanted to be when they were still putting out physical magazines they wanted to be like um you know a realistic magazine and use real models and not like they wanted to make sure that it represented like real women and I think they still do that even though they don't have a physical magazine anymore they still try to post articles that represent what real women want to read if that makes any sense so I really like that I I, I really like their blog um, and then the last blog that I visit um, I recently just added into kind of the mix this the, that mix has been like the four blogs that I visit regularly for years and years and years and years and now I just this year I added a new blog which is Blogilates. Um, I don't think I've talked about Blogilates yet. I will be doing I don't want to talk about her too much right now because I am planning on doing like a full I guess experience about my love for Blogilates video like so, what like a sole video just on blogilates um basically um i just i like her posts and i like um her like the way she approaches exercise and fitness and stuff like that and i used to never like fitness and exercise but um, I, I'll get into that later. And the sun is changing the lighting and uh, I've been having problems with lighting because like my dad changed like the light bulbs in here. And so like I usually use like a light source, but now it makes me really red. Oh no, I'm going to mess up my lighting now. Um, okay, I didn't, but it just, it just made everything really hard. Anyway. So yeah, I'll talk more about Blogilates in that video, but yeah, she's in my mix now. So yeah, those are the five blogs that I regularly visit and I just kind of wanted to talk about them and why I like them and kind of spread the word if you didn't know about them already and if you're looking for blogs to kind of read. Um, so yeah, again, that was Nouveau Cheap, <laughs> the beauty department, um, Michelle Fawn. I can't put my pinky pinky down. Um, what was Verily and um, Blogilates. So I'll put links to all of them below. And so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.